night. It was a heck of a football game. Uh, you know, and, and again, we had some, we had a lot of guys that were very resilient and uh, persevered and, and kept playing when things didn't look good. But they, I tell you, they, we were really positive all the time on the sideline and with each other and the offense and the defense and the special teams. No matter what mistakes were made, uh, there was a lot of encouragement, and they just kept playing. You know, we talked about it during the week. You know. Of just it didn't matter what the adversity was. Just if we keep playing, we stay together. We'll be all right, and we found a way to get the win. What was the difference for Marquise in this game versus the Miami game? Uh, you know, I, I mean, Quise today probably didn't, especially early on, didn't throw the ball the way he probably wanted to throw the ball, and and uh, but he was, uh, you know, he made some dang runs today that were were pretty gutsy and and, and had some, you know, very uh, at times that we really needed. <coughs> You know, uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'd, I'd say offensive line-wise, I thought we did a better job. I thought that was the main reason we ran the football as well as we did today. And uh, that, that always makes Squeeze's job easier. Was he a little better with the read option, too, today? So, uh, I mean, he did. I, I, you know, I'd have to ask uh, Heck what he thought with his reads. But, uh, you know, I, there wasn't a single time that I thought he probably should have pulled it or sh should have given it. I thought he did a nice job with it. On that fourth down at the end of the game, is there any question in your mind? Oh, there was a lot of question in my mind. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of question in my mind. But I knew this. I wanted I wanted him uh, to have the opportunity to keep it if, if, if we needed to. And, uh, you know, that was a read again, and he, he read it and <coughs> went and got the first down. Jordan Tech was a very similar scenario, time of the game and so forth. And so you guys had some experience doing that. Why do you? Does that help them in that situation? And why do you think they've been successful now twice and those types of you know chips are down? Moments? Well, our guys don't panic. I mean, they really don't. They don't panic. I mean, they they've. Uh, I mean, if you think about them, I mean, if you again, just same thing we said after the Georgia Tech game. You looked at them in that situation. Nobody was, you know, nobody was in a big hurry. Nobody was, uh, you know, uh, worried about. They just played, and and uh, you know, our tempo was the same. I mean, it was really, you know, it was three minutes, I think, three minutes and yeah. 30 seconds or something. You know, we had three timeouts. I mean, that's an eternity, really, for us. Uh, so it was more about just making sure we go down there and take care of the ball and do what we needed to do. How encouraging was T.J. Logan's play today? Uh, really good. You know, it was nice to see him get close to right out there at, a, at 100 yards, you know. And uh, uh, we, he had to, too, because, I mean, we're, we were very low on running backs today, especially with Chris going down. So it was, uh, you know. We needed him very much, and he did a really nice job with that. The O-line's taking some walks. Is there any reason why you thought they played? Say again? The O-line's had some taking some walks. Is there any reason why you think they played so well today? Or anything I think Cap's doing a great job with them. They're young. They're growing up, and, and they're getting <coughs> reps. Uh, you know, getting a bunch of reps, and, and uh, Cap coaches the heck out of them. He had, you know, this past two weeks of, of grinding them, I mean, uh, you know, we're not. there's not a lot of coaches on our staff that are, you know, like uh, nice and and hugging on them all, all week. I mean, they're, they're, they're pushing them, you know, and those guys are getting better. We should have had some big catches today, move sticks. Um, kind of some nice performance here going. In my, in my eight couple weeks, it made yeah, a I mean, day. It's just, uh, you know, for, for Quinshot, I mean, you can call, anytime you go to him, he's going to make a play. I mean, he's going to make a play. And uh, he, made, he made some plays today, I mean, you know, that, that were two big ones, you know, that I can think of. There may have been more than that, but that, uh, you know, and he's fighting and scratching and clawing, trying to get in that end zone. He came up short both times, you know. So that was, uh, you know, something that I was uh, joking with him about. But, you know, he uh, he's, gonna, he's always going to come through. That guy is a, let me tell you all, he wants the ball, but he is a team player. That's what he is. All he wants to do is win. And if he can contribute to help that, he, he's, he, he's happier. But believe me, he's happy. If he doesn't catch a ball, we win. How big of a lift for the defense was it to make a play at the end? Well, oh, it was great. You know, I mean, again, I mean, that's uh, we we knew coming into this game that those guys could run the football. I mean, nobody has stopped them, and, and we didn't stop them today. You know, but we made a play when we had to make a play. We forced them to punt there back to back a couple times, uh, and and enabled us to go down and, and get the lead. So we made a few more plays than they did. How tough is Marquise Williams? He's tough now. He's tough. I just, you know, right there and just asked him how he feels. He's like, I'm fine. I'm, I'll be good. I'll be good tomorrow. So, I mean, we got a short week, so we got, we got to get ready. So it's, it's important that he feels good. You and you. team starter, and then ends up setting the school record for consecutive completions. Was it something? What happened? He just settled down, and you know, I mean, 
I don't know. I, I, I get a lot more frustrated than he does. You know, I mean, he, he's pretty, pretty, he stays pretty calm, pretty collected. You know, he, uh, he's, he's busy encouraging guys and, and, and talking things through and, and talking to the O-line and, and the receivers. I mean, he, you know, you don't see a whole lot of frustration on his part. How, Didn't, far, how far is that? Is he calm since the start of the year? I know you guys were. A long way. Just in that, just in that alone, he's doing a, he, he, he's, he's doing so much of a, a better job of just with that even keel, uh, you know, uh, he's just staying right there, whether it's good or bad. Uh, he's still firing now. I mean, he really is, but he's he's controlled it a lot better. You and Coach. Oh, I got I got all trust in him, uh, and I have. I mean, he, he's a uh, he's a guy that'll. It, I mean, you know, he's got that it factor. I mean, you know, he'll he'll he doesn't mind putting the team on his back and doing what he's got to do. You and Coach Cutting talked two weeks ago about maybe doing some tweaks to the defense. Looking at some of the personnel, four three, didn't see much of it today. What was the ultimate determination why you guys didn't really go that route? Well, personnel for one. I mean, you know, we, we went to a uh, a big package there in a few situations and and didn't necessarily have success with it. Uh, so we just went back to doing things that we felt like we could be successful. Were you going to a big package on that illegal substitution inside That's the That's exactly what happened. You've talked a lot about the defense picking up the offense and vice versa, and when you know guys come on off the field. How comforting and encouraging was it for you to see both of those units come through and kind of put the game on the line? Uh, I mean, that's that's why you coach. I mean, really, I mean, it's it's uh, it, it, it. The best thing about it is this team has still they're staying positive through our situation. Everything's going on. I mean, they they, they don't uh, they just they keep practicing hard. Uh, their attitudes are good, and uh, you know they 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 believe and they believe in each other. And they'll, as long as they do that, we'll be fine. What about Kaysen Collins' perspective? I think you guys are today. you kind of see has been coming along throughout the whole year. You know, he's gotten more playing time. Uh, you know, you've just seen him week to week get better and better and better. You know, he's been starting on all the special teams, and then he's playing, he's playing more at the wheel linebacker. And then today, you know, he played the whole game. And, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what he did. I know he, he led us in tackles, but uh, I'm sure there were some mistakes. We knew there were going to be some mistakes from him. I mean, he's a freshman. But, uh, but he was out there, and he played, and, and he did a nice job today. At what point on the last drive were you Two. going to kick a field goal? Uh, I, I didn't plan on kicking a field goal. I planned on scoring, actually. You know, I really did. Well, you know, no, no chance of that? Well, yeah. I've been, I mean, if the situation would have come up, but uh, I really expected us to score. You know, I mean, the, 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 the question was right there at the 30-yard line, you know, with uh, whether we were going to do it then on fourth and two. And uh, after that, I mean, it, it never came up, so I wasn't really, you know, concerned about it. But, I mean, I really believed that the guys would go down and score. I really did. Sure. You got that one more win for that bowl eligibility, but you're in this unique situation where it's back-to-back rivalry games. How hurt and different about quick turnaround for Thursday at NC State? Uh, I didn't get the question. Though. Well, it, it's Duke and then right. State. Right. I mean, not a lot of teams have to do a back-to-back like that in right. terms of hyped-up rivalry games. Is this something that can help you for that one win? Does it just distract you at all? Or? You know what? I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. We hadn't even talked about anything about a bowl game. We really haven't. We hadn't, you know, but, but I mean, we'll, we'll – I mean, we're going to – I don't have any doubt our team's going to prepare and they're going to be ready to play on Thursday. I mean, I really do. I believe that. I, I don't worry about that, and I believe they'll be ready on that next one. I mean, I mean, so in that, you know, for that, uh, I guess maybe it helps. You know, I mean, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, we we plan on being in a bowl game. There's no doubt about it. So I mean, uh, I don't know if it matters who we play, but I'm, I mean, I'm glad we are. I'm glad. I'm glad it worked out the way it is. All right, thank you all.